Hello, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Stitched. We are on the second floor, and we are headed to the... What is it? The third floor, I think? Yeah, we're headed to the third floor because we have just gotten... Um, where, where is it? Oh yeah, there we go. We've just gotten the bronze key, and that's basically what we need to get to this third floor. So... I'm just gonna poke around a little bit. Like, I wonder what's in all these locked doors. Okay, so I don't know exactly where I'm going next. Oh no. Okay, office room 208. I don't think I've been in there. Right, I guess I'm headed this way. I don't know if I should open the door. Blood's all over the place. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that one go. I can't read the sign. I'm scared. I'm gonna go back in there later. Never mind. I have to go back over there now. I want that thread. I know that I have a wooden board. I guess I can't use it now. I just... This kid has made me want to go after Thread. Like, I'm chasing Thread. Yeah. Okay, that's not gonna happen. So, I'm just gonna go back in that room that I said that I wasn't gonna go into immediately. Thank goodness there's save. A Meaningless Vow by Oliver Townsend. Catherine, I promise, everything will be better soon. You keep saying that. You boast about your project, then disappear for weeks. What about me, father? Am I not important to you? You are, I... Ooh, Catherine walked off. Sassy Catherine. All the flashbacks, or most of them seem to be about Catherine, like, wanting more attention. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Not that way. Surely he won't keep following us. Oh shit. Why does... <laughs> Thank goodness it's gone. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm stuck. I don't know where I am. Huh? Ah. Those stairs should lead to father's research. Now to find the key to unlock this gate. Yet another hindrance. The red key should be on this floor. I need to find it to access the fourth floor. Um. Am I on the third floor now? Yes, I am. Cool. Oh, mental test room. That sounds kind of scary. Um, I'm debating on whether or not to use a stability pill because I ran through a lot of blood when I was running around away from the monster. I just had a lot going on. So this is the intelligence test room. Don't know what that is. And this is the physical test room. So I'm gonna just start with the basic. I'm gonna start with the mental test room. 
a gold crown is carved. Yeah, I don't think I have anything mm -mm. for that. Anything in here? Surely there's a stability pill waiting for us somewhere. Intelligence tests. Hmm. This place seems a bit too fancy to be a, f a test room. If I have to guess, father probably... Father probably have something to do with this. He and his alcohols. Also, her father was an alcoholic. That's why she doesn't like it. Uh, okay. Okay, we have these creepy dolls. Father has a strong love for wines. He kept so many barrels at home. Catherine, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna fix everything. Our lives will be better. Father, you had too much to drink. I'm fine. Trust me, sweetie. No, you're not. Let me return to work. I'll make you smile again, I promise. Please, just stop. Intelligence test number 22. There are four dolls sitting at a bar side by side. The bartender asks each of them what they'd like to drink and their seat location. After hearing their request, the bartender notices that one of them is lying. He ignores the liar and then serves the drinks accordingly. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. A winemaker. It looks like... A, okay, you can mix drinks. Um... Justice. My sister Mercy is by my right. My favorite drink is white margarita. White margaritas. While hers is vodka. Faith, I like to sit to the left of my cousin Hope. She adores blue whiskey and I'm fond of yellow colored drinks. Hope. Faith fancies yellow sake, sake and I like white wine. She is all the way to your left next to the corner and Mercy, I'm sitting next to my sister Justice. And my best friend Faith is to my right. She loves tequila and I like green drinks. Okay, so I'm literally going to just have to... Does whiskey come in blue? The list of available drinks and colors. Margarita, vodka, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm like going to have to figure this out for sure. First, I just kind of want to look around the room. I doubt anything's going to be here, but I just have to try. What if the lying doll just gets up and starts running at us? The intelligence test consisted of a series of puzzles is used to determine whether the test subjects retain some sense of reasoning. So far, only a handful succeed. If a subject happens to pass the intelligence test, they will be asked to undergo the physical test. Alright then. You're wondering about my seat? It's number four. Sorry, I'm not telling you my seat number no matter what. Curious about my seat? Well, it's number two. If you must know, I'm sitting on seat one. Okay, so these dolls are like kind of nice, I guess. You guys all have wine glasses, but you don't all want wine. So, okay. My sister Mercy is by my right. My favorite drink is white margarita, while hers is vodka. Um, I wish I had a pen and paper, but I don't. Let's see what Mercy says. I'm sitting next to my sister Justice, and my best friend Faith is to my right. She loves tequila, and I like green drinks. So Mercy is in between Justice and Faith. So that would mean that Justice has to be Justice is either in the third or fourth seat, if Mercy's to her right. Mercy is either in the third or second seat. And then Faith says she likes to sit to the left of her cousin, Hope. So we have Mercy to her right, 
Hope to her left. Mercy to her right. Hope to her left. She adores. So, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, draw this out for myself. You know what? It's not going to, like, let me just... I don't have... I'm, like, using my phone, and I'm pissed off because I can't just, like, draw like I want to. So I'm just going to use the notepad to try to sort my thoughts out. Okay. So we have Justice. Her sister Mercy is to her right. And then we have... According to Mercy, she's sitting next to Justice, and then Faith is to her right, and then let's see what Faith says. Faith likes to sit to the left of her cousin, Hope, so Hope would have to be to Faith's right, and Hope says, She's all the way to your left, next to the corner. I think Hope is the liar. Because based on the thing that I read, it would have to be justice, mercy, faith, and hope. So, faith would not be all the way to the left, next to a corner. So, I think Hope is the liar. I'm just going to note that down. And then I have to figure out their drinks. So Justice says that she likes a white margarita. And then she says that Mercy likes vodka. Mercy says that Faith loves tequila. And she likes green drinks. So she can get a green, Mercy can get a green vodka. Faith says that she adores blue whiskey. And she's, wait, no. Hope adores blue whiskey. And Faith likes yellow color drinks, so that makes a yellow tequila for Faith. Let's see what Lie Hope wants to tell. She says, Faith fancies yellow sake, and I like white wine. Yeah, that, that, no. Okay, so I know who's lying. So we ignore the liar. So we're not gonna give Hope anything. I'm gonna make for justice. I'm gonna make a white margarita. I think justice is in seat four. Yes. Okay. And then for mercy, I'm gonna give her a green vodka. And she is in seat three. Yes. The final drink is going to be a yellow tequila. And that's going to be seat two. Yes. And we're going to ignore this one. We're not going to give her anything. Like, is that what I'm supposed to do? It says he ignores the liar and then serves the drinks accordingly. Um, okay, well, I'm just, I'm gonna just give Hope the blue whiskey. Yes. The first puzzle piece from the devoted butler. Yay, I got something new. Bottoms up, girls! 
now we have to do the physical test. Oh my god. The physical test consisted of a series of exercises is used to gauge whether test subjects are physically capable of undergoing further experimentation. Subjects that pass the physical test will undergo the mental test. Oh my god. Oh my, what is that? Can I, I should just go ahead and die. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready like never before. This reminds me of Super Mario. Oh, get those! Uh, but like the doll. Ah! Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna need a few tries for this. Okay, I'm just gonna try my best, and hopefully, I don't need to edit too much. Okay, I've actually made it through. Unfortunately, most subjects displayed a lack of energy and were unable to progre progress further. Well, that's not me. A second puzzle piece. Oh man, I have to go back. I have to go back. Let me just save it. That way if I die, it won't be a total loss. Oh shit, see? Oh no. Alright. Take two. Ugh, why did I do that?
that is over. Thank goodness. I was like really quiet because I was kind of nervous, you know? Um, I think that this is the last room that I have. Mm -mm. Like, do I need to combine my puzzle pieces? Oh, there are four of them, apparently. I only have like two. So what's in here? So tired. She's moving by herself. <laughs> it isn't sweet little Kathy. Why not come down here and let us have a chat? Don't you want to find out what happened to this factory? Aren't you curious about your father? <laughs> Miss Catherine. See, she shows up every time the dark figure shows up. I really think that they're like the same person. Granted, I've thought that she's like Catherine. Like, I thought she's like five different people. I'm not going to lie. But that's just creepy. This happens a lot. What? Where is that dark figure? Hmm. Oh, you don't know what she means. She was in that room earlier. That person must have already left before I got here. Are you feeling well? Yes, I'm fine. This place looks like a laboratory. It is one. Your father conducted his experiments here. <gasps> experiments? Yes. To create living dolls. Oh god. What? We can talk about it later. For now, let us keep moving. Let us keep moving. So you're you're going to you're going to you're going to help us now? Good. Answer, please answer my questions. The Living Doll Project is a project your father envisioned for many years. It was successful in the end after countless of difficulties. I'm guessing you are a fruitful result of the project. Yes. I do have more questions. Test subjects. From what I have seen, the test subjects consist of those that do not have family or are without a home. However, I feel that there is more than just that. Doll factory. What's going on in this doll factory? You catch on quickly. On the surface, this is just any ordinary doll factory to the public and to the factory workers. But beneath it all, this is the laboratory for your father and his most trusted colleagues to complete the Living Doll Project. So, my father has been lying to everyone all of this time. Yes, sometimes it's better to keep people ignorant. Avoiding the bear. The bear prefers to roam large hallways. It rarely enters a room without good reason. Also, it's loud footsteps signal it's Im imminent arrival. I use these knowledges to avoid it. Hmm. A dark figure, you say? Yes, I saw a video footage of her controlling the dolls. She must be the culprit behind these murders. I see. Were you able to get a glimpse of what she looks like? No, I was too afraid to look at her. Uh-huh. I really don't want her following me. I've come along this far without your help. Leave me alone. What does this say? Guess I can't read that. The Living Doll Project, supervised by Isaac Stockholm, began with the concept of revolutionizing human lives. The idea of replacing human body parts with that of a doll sounds far-fetched, but with the backing we received so far, I have high hopes for this project. The Perfect Doll House by Natasha Winter. Is there more?
I tried to save it. The layout of this room is rather strange. Hmm. A white button. I'm gonna leave it alone and I'm gonna save it. But what happens if I press it? <laughs> Miss, are you alright? Thanks for all your help, doll. Ah! Working sink. <laughs> Purple divide, yellow multiply, white add, black subtract. Ah. Can I take it? Um, purple divide, yellow multiply, white add, black subtract. Okay. Huh? Okay. It seems that each of these colored circles represents a different mathematical mathematic operation. I'll mark it for you, young miss. Ah. Um, but can I take that sheet with me? The light guide guides the path forward, but can such a person follow it to the very end? Um. I guess I can come back to this. I'll save it one last time. I think I can come back. What's wrong? Hmm. Oh yeah, you're not fond of elevators, of course. <laughs> Where are we going? I think we need the code. We don't have a code for the fourth floor. Or the third floor or wherever. Perhaps that gold crown is the final key that you are trying to obtain. What happened here? Oops. Mm -mm. What kind of key? Mm -mm. Is it the white key? the keys work great <sighs> I will remain here any codes I need more codes yes I 
Like, I know I'm supposed to mess with these lights. I'm just... Let me, I guess... Look at this thing one more time. So, there are, I guess, eight lights. One, two... Yeah, there are eight lights. Okay. So... Y... So, 60 minus 50. That's 10. 10 is less than 30. So the first light is going to be off. And just give me one second. I'm actually creating a table for myself. I have to write everything down. I don't like to miss anything. If I can help it. So we have light one. And that light is off. The second one is 21 plus 9. And that's 30 n is greater than 29 so it's on light 2 is on light 3 is m times a that's 2 times 10 that's 20 20 is less than 30 so that light is off and then the fourth one is c minus z that's 50 minus 20 that's 30 n is greater than 29 so that light is on so we have off, on, off, on, and then now we look at light 5, A plus Z is 30, and N is greater than 29, so that light is on. Light 6, we have X divided by Z, so that's 0 divided by, it doesn't matter, it's just going to be 0, 0 is less than 30, that light is going to be off. Um, on light 7, we have n minus x, that is 30 minus 0, that's 30, 30 is greater than 29, light is on. And then finally, light 8, we have y over m, so that's going to be 60 over 2, and that's going to be 30, so that light is also going to be on. Alright, I have everything noted, I'm going to start over here. Light 1 should be off, light 2 should be on, light 3 should be off, and light 4 should be on. So I'm assuming this is light 5, that should be on, light 6 should be off, light 7 should be on, and then light 8 should be on. Now let's see what happens. Let me save it. I must have done something wrong. Like how, I guess I got the numbers wrong maybe, but how should I know? So we have off on on off so I guess okay maybe this maybe this is light 5 this is on light 6 is off okay and these two should be on now let me try again And that works. Nicely done. No thanks to you, no no thanks to you, Melisandra. Okay. What room is this? It's locked. It's a lab room. Once all four puzzle puzzle pieces are obtained, enter the experiment room and place them in the puzzle frame. Guessing this is the experiment room. Huh? The door is open. Let's go inside. <gasps> what are those? Those are your father's experiments. No, no. This can't be. He has no right. This is unacceptable. Your father... My father is a monster. 
I had a hunch that this is what he was doing all along, but deep down, I really wanted to hope that somehow I was wrong. I wanted to think that my father is still a caring and loving person, not a madman who would sacrifice the lives of others for his selfish desire. <laughs> Please tell me. Am I... Am I just another lab rat for his cruel experiment? Young miss. I do not know if your father is the man you envisioned him to be, but what I do know is that he still cares for you deeply. I would like to believe that, but after what I've seen, I don't know what to think anymore. Ugh, not only does he have real experiments here, but the sink doesn't work, so I can wash up. Let's read all this. A frame mm. for the puzzles. Mm -mm. Um. Oh? Oh, I got it. Okay, F3, ball jointed. Oops. After so long, we finally have our first successful project. There might be a couple of issues with her body as the internal mechanisms still needed to be addressed. Hence, she has to sleep once every few hours. We should be able to solve these problems in the upcoming experiments. Oh my goodness, I think they're talking about Catherine. So... You were once human? Yes. Oh, that we're talking about Melisandre. I'm so sorry for what my father... Do not apologize, miss. What's done is done. Now I kind of feel sorry for her. What happens if we talk to it? I want to find the crown key. been everywhere except up here. What kind of room is this? Lawrence's chamber? I'm afraid I will hinder you in there. I will remain here. Uh, something's gonna get us. I wanna go back out. I don't wanna do it. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, I guess I don't have a choice. What is this? What are these papers? Oh, I can't go in there. The sign's broken. Of course. Was I wrong to label my father as a monster? No. You were not. His actions were questionable. But I believe your father was influenced by a larger entity. So not all of the blame should be placed on him. Did he feel regret for the murders he committed? Yes. Many times, but he wanted to take back what he's done. Thank you. I'm glad you're feeling better. Anyway, please be careful in there. I will wait for you by the staircases to the fourth floor. Okay. Just... Some believe that the, Im the immense strength of the experiments is due to their new durable bodies. Okay. So I'm going to go in here first. A small music box is attached to the safe. A third puzzle piece from the talented entertainer. Oh, a stability pill. Oh, I forgot. I don't need to talk to these dolls at all. What is this? Keep calm. Survival is a game of patience. So I know that when I play the music, all the dolls are going to like go berserk and they're going to like launch at me. So let's do it. No. I have to. To avoid outside disturbances, the door will be locked while the music is playing. Thank you for your cooperation. Ugh, what is this? door is unlocked 
That wasn't, that was not bad at all. Like, we've been through way worse. <coughs> Fuck. Spoke too soon. I will remain here. Okay, I am ready now. After I get my stability pill. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to I'm going to that was just practice. I'm going to get this for real this time. I'm like I'm so serious. I'm done. I'm like I will remain we here. We know where you're not going anywhere. Where it will put you in danger. You you don't you don't knuck if you buck. You don't do that. Maybe if I take a stability pill before the dolls start, I'll be good. No. Got it. You look tense. Is everything okay? Dolls, so many of them. But I'm okay. We should keep moving. Can't go in there. I'm gonna save it again, and then I'll go into that creepy room that has the fourth puzzle piece. Of course. No. Yes. Thank you. The Living Doll Project Statistics... <laughs> I cannot speak at all tonight. The Living Doll Project Statistics for last four quarters. Summer quarter. One success, 28 failures, and a 3.57 success rate. Fall quarter. One success and 23 failures. 4.35 success rate. Winter quarter. No successes and 20 failures. A 0% success rate. Spring quarter, three successes, 26 failures, 11.54. So they've had a 5% success rate. That's terrible. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull the switch because I don't know what else to do. Okay, it won't budge. What happens if... Hmm, a button. I don't know mm -hmm. what to do to this butt with this button. Maybe there's something around the room I have to grab. Yep. Another small vase. So I guess we have to put the flower vases on top of the button. Then we can pull the switch. And what does that do? What is that? Should I go? I'm just gonna go forward. Okay, I'm not, because I can't. That's not what I'm gonna do at all. Um... I guess I have to like hurry. Yeah. Okay. Um. What's this? Isaac, I can't help but be a little suspicious of Elise. I know she was your colleague in the past, but I don't think she's being honest with us. I apologize for my skepticism. It's just that I feel like we're being manipulated by that woman to continue on with this project. Of course, Elise is behind everything. She's like evil. Cleaning room. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Well, there's nothing I can do. Alright. 
Take two. I bet Elise is the bear. Or, not, yeah. What does this say? A fourth puzzle piece from the faithful maid. Time to go, time to go. No! Shit, I'm screwed. He can't, he can't, he can't get in. We're too fast for him. Why does that creature keep chasing me? They, he keeps chasing you because haters are gonna hate. That's what they do. That's what they do, Catherine. Let's just keep going. We got this. Um, I'm back to the experiment room. And the bodies are gone. That's creepy. The doll got them, I bet. She's evil. Cause hmm. she's either Elise or she's the beast. Yay. Yes. We got we got our red key. Yes. What's the objective now? Alright, let me save this. And I am going to stop here. And we can proceed later. We only have, I think, one more key. That's amazing. We're doing great. We have one more key. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We're so close think I'll be done this week. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to know what you think. Who is the beast? Who is the doll? Is the doll our friend? What's up with that kid? And he keeps asking us for thread. Let me know all of it. So just share your thoughts down below. Bye now.